O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, O Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, O Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, O Jesus. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I go unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Hey y'all, it's Heather from Buffering Saint, and we are on chapter eight of the Summer Book Club, reading the Handbook for Catholic Moms by Lisa Hindi. And the Summer Book Club was put together by Heather from A Catholic Mom's Life. And there's a bunch of us doing it. Check out the links down below. It's an awesome group of ladies doing it, and I love watching their videos and getting their takes on the different chapters. I really felt moved to share that prayer with you guys after reading this chapter because a lot of what we do in our vocations as mothers personally you know I'm a mother and a teacher and a lot of what we do as mothers goes unnoticed or unseen or unthanked and that can apply to any teacher in any classroom as well and it can apply to every mother that ever existed. We need to remember it is what we do when nobody is watching that truly matters. We can put on a big show. I can post a bunch of videos on YouTube about being Catholic and whatever else, but if I'm not living that out, then it doesn't matter. If I'm not doing it in private, when the, I'm not recording myself, then all these videos are useless. Our reward is in heaven with God, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit. We are just visitors on this earth. Jesus sees everything that we do, all that we succeed, all that we suffer, everything that we, sh everything that we do should be for God's glory. So our purpose as mothers in our vocation is to serve others, is to serve our children, is to serve our spouses. That is what our vocation is. That is what we are called to do. With that being said, we should not be so proud as to never ask for breaks. We need to reach out to our spouses, our family members, our friends. If we need a break, we should be able to ask for that. We need to communicate our needs with those in our life. And as we support our family, whether it's through working or if we're a stay-at-home mom, we need to put God first in everything that we do. At home, we need to do that. When we're at work, we need to do that. And we need to offer every day up as a prayer to God so that he can fulfill us in ways that, that are not possible by earthly possessions. 
So give yourselves little breaks every once in a while. Schedule breaks throughout the day so that you can fill up your tank with prayer and give up your little sufferings throughout the day to God. I know it's so easy to get frustrated because I have to do the dishes again every single day. I have to sweep the floor again. I have to grade more papers. I know it's so easy to get frustrated and to lose our tempers, but if we can just remember to do everything for God's glory, offer every little thing up for prayer, offer all of our little sufferings, big sufferings, all of our successes, all of our failures, offer them up so that we can be giving, so that we can give God the glory and live out in a way that is pleasing to God. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about on this chapter. I probably went out on a off on a tangent, but it just I felt really moved to share that after reading this chapter. So, like I said, go check out the other YouTubers that are doing this book club. Subscribe to my channel. Have a blessed day. Bye.